And when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives the signal, and only He subhanahu wa ta'ala knows when this is, the angel will blow into the trumpet and every living creature on the face of the earth will be shocked. Everything will be shocked except for a couple of angels. These angels are Israfil, Mikael, Jibril, the angel of death, and the angels that hold up the throne of Allah. And after everyone is shocked and dead, Allah will ask the angel of death, who is left alive? And the angel of death will repeat what I just said. Israfil, Jibreel, Mikael, and the angels that hold up the throne of Allah, me and you, Ya Allah, and you are the one that does not die. And Allah will tell the angel of death, take the soul of Israfil. Then take the soul of Mikael. Then take the soul of Jibreel. And he'll ask, who is left? Angel of death. And the angel of death will say, the angels that hold up the throne of Allah, me and you, Ya Allah, and you are the one that does not die. And Allah will order the angel of death to take the souls of the angels that hold up the throne of Allah. And Allah will ask, who is left? And the angel of death will say, me, Ya Allah, and you, and you are the one that does not die. And in a narration, Allah will tell the angel of death, go and take your own soul. And the angel of death will go to a land between the heavens and the earth. And he will take his own soul in a scene, brothers and sisters, that's described that from the, the, the scream that the angel of death will produce, if the people of the world were alive, they would have died again in shock. And that the angel of death would say, if I knew death was so painful, I would have been more merciful on the souls of the believers. And then Allah will ask, who is left? But no one will answer. Who is left? But no one will answer. To who is kingdomship today? Nothing answers. There's nothing but Allah. This is how it started. This is how it will end. Nothing alive, no atom, no cell, nothing there except subhanahu wa ta'ala the creator of all of